and the football. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He's going to air one out. And this is caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions. And, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into Okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Going top shelf. For oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 36 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Some down decision. They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. Going for the deep ball. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. As his guys are in for six. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 16 yards right off the bat. In a first oh, under the light. Yeah, we've established anything in his vicinity, he's grabbing it. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. There he goes, left side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. 23 yards on the play. Receivers, they have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got the... Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. In for the score. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all. There hasn't been much of a break in this first half. A lot of points being put up. Not much room to breathe, is there? Because and got his man complete. He's still there. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there, 76 yards, and the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 1950. This is another person that's tied it, but think about this. Bob Shaw said it in 1950. Kellen Winslow came along and tied it. And then, of course, Jerry Rice tied it as well. And fun play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly. And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A big play there, 75 yards, and the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. 
What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. Slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a performance. So, you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. down it's Roethlisberger over the middle hauled in by Smith Schuster and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30 that one goes for 24 yards eight, eight, eight. on first and 10 it's Roethlisberger going top shelf for Smith Schuster. got his man it's caught for a Steelers touchdown as his guys are in for six. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. He's been a frequent target. And with catches like that, one-handed in the end zone, I'd keep going his way. And he's doing it every which way, isn't he? Two hands. And in this case, we just saw it with one hand. Almost reminds me of a great return of service. For a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to. He's got him. Complete. He's still barreling. Through. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team and then following through, all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. 